another Ollie and Dad. Time and Raisin. Um, so I know we haven't done this in a while. Cause, oh, I know we haven't done this in a while. But um, it's been like six, seven, five, eight days. Um, cause we were out on a trip to the Crescent Hotel. It. In and then we also went to France. 2010, it was voted um, most haunted hotel in America. So, yeah. So, back to the story. Yeah. Uh, the, when we last left off, the family was in police custody. They got brought back there by robots. Yeah. And now they're going to see the chief of police. Now, have we told them who the chief of police is yet? I don't think so. Okay. So, um, so they go into the chief of police office. Obviously, in every movie or book, the chair is turned around. So, it's... And she slowly turns around? Yes. The facing? Yes. Okay. And then... Um, she says, I've been expecting you. Actually, though, I mean, it's been a long, long time. Oh, wait, no, no. Um, um, that he said, um, you're the, you're well, what the, if, what if you're she was the, like... um, you're the, um, you're the people who went missing 200 years ago. What, what if she's like, now tell me again. What happened? And then they tell the story. Yeah. And then she, then she's like, reveals who she is. So she says, I, um, you know, the, the pilot that, um, that, um, didn't go through the wormhole. That was my great, great, great grandfather. So yeah, and um, okay, so um, yeah, um, so then what, after she reveals that, what's she gonna do, is she like, gonna try, like arrest them, is she, no, they, um, the um the chief of police took them to like... her place since they're technically homeless. Oh. Okay. And they were friends of the po- the pilots. The pilots um. They were friends of the pilots, so like. So she's she was, gonna be like, look, here's the deal. Because she has like a me. huge mansion. Oh. Okay. And like. And so yeah. And um. Daddy. So then. Hold this. Okay. Oh, sorry. He's got to run through the sprinkler. <laughs> so while while uh, he's running through the sprinkler, Oliver, come on! Don't run through the yard. I can say all kinds of. I can. I can. Okay. Call him a poopy butt. Okay. Crazy's the real poopy butt. She actually pooped out of her butt just Ew, like a minute ago. So, um, yeah. And so the chief of police takes um them home, the family home, and so yeah. And then they um. They get their first wristband. Since they're rich, they so since their they're wristband. What's the wristband? Oh, oh, to pay for things. Yeah. Gotcha. And so. So like, did the, I'm sure they have. Oh wait, we we started a new chapter on at the beginning of this video. Yeah. I forgot. Well, don't talk right. Don't like yell into the microphone. It's so loud. Sorry. <laughs> um. So, yeah. 
and um okay so she's so they're at her house <laughs> um and they're gonna she's gonna give them money like was she giving a them money a card like, with a thousand dollars on it oh okay so she's just gonna give them a little money bit of money to get by Mm-hmm. and then what so you gotta kind of set up like the rest of the story are they trying to get back home no to their they time? have to or it's there... in the beginning of the chapter now they have to try to survive there's no way for them to get back no, so, that's what I'm so, they're just... so a lot of times in a movie like this you set up what you think the problem is so the problems you think the problem is going to be that you need them to get back but what if there's a bigger problem that they have to help with in the future? What if, like, what if they have to help, what if the robots are starting to take over and so they have to help stop the robot uprising? Yeah, because it's it, in iRobot. It's kind of like iRobot. Yeah. The old robots so the robots are helping. Are, so these new robots are starting to take over. Yes. And so they. And there's one person behind all of it. So we tell the, the part of the story where like the chief of police is trying to to. She's like, oh, I, I don't I don't have any more time to help you guys. We've got a serious problem on our hands. And then they say like, What's that? Okay. And then she tells them, and they're like, Okay, we can stay for like a, a bit to help you guys. And since, since the, and, oh, wait. What if? Um, the, the family, since it's like a hundred years into the future, there's grandkids. Okay. And like a bunch of grandkids. Because they have a bunch of family members. But who, who's, who's left behind? What? Who's left behind? They don't have any family members left behind. Yeah, they do. Who? Because... The... Um, the... The... Kate's there with them. Derek's mom. Okay. And Derek's dad. Yeah, but if De Derek's mom and dad... Like... They probably... They're like a grandparent's age, so... They're probably not having any more kids. Oh, and Derek's brother. Derek has a brother? Yes. Well, technically, kind of. Oh, are we going to find out that Derek's brother is actually the... You need to slow ...leader of down. the people who have... Oh, sorry. What if, what if we backtracked a little bit? Like, we don't backtrack, but what if when you go to write the story, you make it so that... Uh, Car coming. ...the kids love to tinker with stuff so that when they go to the future they've got these skills because they're really good with like tinkering with electronics and stuff mm -hmm. and maybe maybe like uh what's the girl oh name? wait the the boys know how to upgrade things okay and what and maybe the, so they're gonna upgrade a lot of the robots and maybe uh, what's the girl's name the janet janine, janine. janine. Maybe Janine is really good at um, programming. Like, she knows yeah. robot programming languages and stuff. Which I yeah. guess probably wouldn't have been around at that time. So maybe she's really good at, um, like, logic puzzles and things like that. No, she's really smart. So, she's like, just, yes, she's, she's like. Super smart. She's so like she picks um, up on it really quickly. She's like a she can be like a really good chess player. Okay. She thinks multiple moves ahead. Ooh, I like that. Okay. So she can um have like um since um since um the robots um the robots um is are probably protecting the the owner of the Actually, no, um, in iRobot, it, they take over, and instead of, um, having, um, then, like, 1v1, um, um, they sneak up on them, 
will surround them okay. in a 60 minute, 360 degree angle. Oh, okay. So you're, you're setting up a big like fight scene. Yes. Okay. And now so, who's jumping ahead? What? Now who's jumping ahead? No, I. How? Do, okay. How do? I, okay. So so back to get, getting the story back on track. So. Where do we go after they leave, they get the thousand dollars and they leave the detective's house or the mm -hmm. chief of police's house? Mm -hmm. Where do they go? Oh, no, they don't leave. They, they, they. Oh, they're staying with her for yeah, a couple of days. They're staying with her they until, they, until they can um, go back to their timeline. Okay. And so then what do they start doing? Like, uh, do they ask her, like, hey, is this anything we can help with? Yeah. Okay. And then, and, and then um, does she describe the problem? Yeah, What's and the um, the problem is the robots are um. Are they malfunctioning? No. Are they, okay. The problem is the robots. One hit, dead. Oh, like. Are, are the robots attacking people? No. One hit. One hit. One hit. Um. Uh, one hit of another robot to one robot the, that robot's dead so they need to like oh they need the armor and stuff yeah the, the metal plating yeah so um so oh yeah and so and like um and the ant is like knows where to like find like mine like they, she knows where to find like tough metal and stuff like titanium okay. So yeah, and so the ant is going out, and um the um the person gave her um the, the person gave the ant one million dollars, which is not a lot. It's like now when you say it's a, person, no, it's like, it's like ten thousand dollars. Are you talking about in the, our timeline? The guy at the robot company. What? The guy at the robot no, company. No, no, the per, the girl, Who? the chief of police. Oh, to, to help create better police robots? No, upgrade the armor. On what? On the robots. What robots? All the robots in the world? No, our robots. The good robots, not the bad robots. So the police robots? Yes. And there's All like asking, and there's dude. like house robots. Okay. So, yeah. But would it, like, why would the police, I don't think the police would work on... Upgrading the armor of house not robots. not the police. <laughs> Aunt Kate knows where to find like titanium and stuff. But why are they upgrading the house robots? I didn't say that they were upgrading. Yes, them. I because the house robots are pro technically programmed the same way. Um, but like very similar. They're very simul similar. Similar. Okay. Uh, so they they can program the house robots for police robots because now they only have like they only have like so a thousand robots they're recruiting house robots to help protect yes okay what are they protecting from the bad robots well you haven't set up anything about the bad robots you haven't had the bad robots do anything yet so so how is your reader gonna know that there's these bad robots out there guys remember the the person said the problem is that there's newer robots attacking the people. That's the part that you left out. You no, know? I said the newer. I she, I said that she said um the newer robots are attacking people. Yes, I said okay. that in the beginning. Okay. And they, are they are they so, attacking everyone at once, or are they just kind of like every once in a while one one. Uh, Picks the malfunction no, and attacks them. Picks them off one by one, like so it acts every. Like it's a normal robot, and then it just. Mhm. Mm cut. So yeah, and so the Aunt Kate needs to find titanium to upgrade the armor of the good robots and the okay. house robots. What if? What if? Uh... What if while they're doing all these discussions and stuff, the kids uh, wander into like a nearby library, and then at some point Janine is like, 
Hey, actually, I was reading, there's something even stronger than titanium. Have you heard about this new chemical compound? And she like comes up with this, uh, creates this new, even stronger material oh, that yeah. they hadn't thought of. Yeah. And, and, and you know how in movies, they're always and like- And titanium. That's <laughs> nice. what it's called. And, and no, suntanium. Oh. It's as hot as the sun, so if you touch it, it gets so, burned. So, uh, soul. <laughs> so what? So soul means sun, like solar. Yes. So what is so solar? Sol solanium. Solan yeah, solanium. <laughs> this is gonna invent selenium. Yes. And then. Um, no, it's already been invented, but it's like secret. Yeah, and she discovered it. So, and, and then that's the point where the detective goes, huh, that just might work. You yeah. know how they always say that in the movies? Yeah. And they tested out, they captured one of the bad robots and 1v1 it with the, with the new robot that has selenium. one of the, no, yeah, that has selenium on it. So they 1v1 it to see who wins. And the good robot won. won. Gotcha. So yeah. So they do that. And um, it, it, that's gonna take like a few days. So they have to use, use what they've got to protect, um, to protect the house robot, the, all the house robots, um, they, um, since, um, um, the, um, since they, um, so, and the pilot, the Aunt, Aunt Kate's husband, uh -huh. is, um, really good at finding titanium, uh -huh. and the Aunt Kate know, knows that now that she invented it, so, yeah. What if and the enemy... And I'm gonna what? drop them with a cliffhanger. What if the enemy, like all along through the story, it seems like the enemy is a descendant of Derek's brother, but then you find out that Derek's brother found the wormhole, found a wormhole too, and it's actually Derek's brother who is the villain. Yeah, who's that's controlling what I, all the evil robots? That's what I was saying the whole time. Oh, okay. Well, I'm just finally catching up to you. Yeah. All right, that's it for this episode. So, bye.